The hypermethylation agents are provided to patients with accelerated end blastic phase because they have a potential to lower the blast. They kind of control the, the disease. There are even reports of some CRs, complete responders, and some partial responders. But the goal is really to put back patients in a chronic phase, lower than 10% blast, and then get them to transplant to save their life. If that's not possible, you can continue hypomethylation agents as long as there is benefit and perhaps even use induction chemotherapy. The quality of life of these patients is not very good. Remember, these are mild fibrosis patients. They have already many systemic symptoms, bone neck and pains, night sweating, low grade fevers, decreased performance status. They have very big spleen or liver. That is not going to be controlled very well with as a cited in or decided in hypermethylation agents. They are given primarily for the bone marrow control, the blast control. And so we would uh, regularly combine hypermethylation agents with JAK inhibitor, ruxolitinib, to control the symptoms, the spleen, liver, and general symptoms to help with the quality of life aspect while we are try treating the disease and progressive nature of the disease with hypermethylation agents. So in fact, uh, the use of uh, ruxolitinib, the only approved uh, JAK inhibitors, is endorsed uh, very much by NCCN guidelines for patients with accelerated all blastic phase, regardless of their blood cell count, to use the dose, appropriate dose in individual setting that would be there to control the symptoms.